Hi everyone. Um, my name is Butterfly Nebulae. You can call me Butterfly. I use they them pronouns. And I am a brand new altar. Welcome to today. So, first and foremost, we have reached a wonderful milestone. We have 200 subscribers. Thank you for subscribing to our channel and being part of our life and journey. And it's really exciting. We were stuck being in the like 180s for like a year. Yes. <laughs> We'd get a follower and lose a follower. Get a follower, lose it. It was great. And now we're in the 200s, so life grows and people come and go and we're still here somehow. And that's great, I think. Ooh. Okay. So, um, the next thing I wanted to say is, um, we're having a really hard time posting videos. We're having a hard time doing anything, honestly. Um, we're just making it day to day. Sometimes it's more like moment to moment because, um, <clears throat> we've kind of had like a mental health crash and we were trying to solve a lot of problems and then it turns out we can't solve any of them. At least not in a way that... Turns out we can't solve any of them. Um, <clears throat> so it's one of those, like... We're having a moment in our life of needing to rise up. Because sometimes in life there really are no other options. And that doesn't mean that your world has to end. It doesn't mean our world has to end. Um, <clears throat> so, so I'm. We don't know how to rise up about this yet, but we're getting there, and I believe we're gonna get there. I came around. I sprang from Ellery, and I came out because, uh, because of being in a situation where we feel trapped constantly. And where we would love to get somewhere different. And there's so much pain about it all. And then I came out. And here I am. And at first I was kind of a persecutor more than anything else. <laughs> but persecutors are protectors. And I am an emotional protector. I think I'm other kinds of protectors too, but it takes a long time to get to know yourself. And you can take all the time you need to get to know yourself. And you never have to explain yourself to anyone else. You shouldn't have to. But I know we often do have to. There's what's like, there's the ideology of life and there's the reality of life. And then there's all the tension in the middle. <sighs> Welcome to the tension in the middle. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, we've been... Hmm, where is I going? Can't get anywhere different. We can't solve most of the problems that we have. And we are here. And we will be here for the foreseeable future. And we could make that a terrible time. We could try to make that a nice time. And most likely what will happen is a bunch of tension until we find balance. So um, one of the things we are, we did just start is a protocol for healing your body from Lyme disease and other tick-borne infections. Um, it's called the Cowden Protocol. Uh, it's, I was going to show you in a box. Just a sec. I'll be right back. Oh, my heels are under the bed. So don't get up too fast. I'm coming. I'll be there soon. I'm coming, you see? I'm coming. We're gonna get there. 
<laughs> that was fun. We're doing this. See? It's for a means of work. That, that paper doesn't tell you much. Okay. We're doing this. See? Da -da -da -da. It comes with information and some more information and a notebook to tell you how to do your stuff. So this is the one I haven't I didn't open this yet. Hey, let's unbox it together, shall we? <sighs> I'm so out of breath. <sighs> I was going to take a nap while the whole family was gone. And then I was like, no, I'm going to make a video. And it would be silly if I can. Um. Well, so here, this is what it is. See this mess, mess of stuff? Okay. So they count out for you like day one, day two, day three, day four, day five, day six. And they tell you four times a day what medicines you're supposed to take. See, four times a day. The first three days are the easy ones. You just take two different kinds of medicines. These ones, and it gets harder. <sighs> See, you take medicines like... This. Cilantro. And this one, Banderol. <clears throat> I'm not actually going to show them all to you because that's not that interesting, honestly. But basically, it's a bunch of tinctures and herbs in the form of tinctures. And they work like natural antibiotics in a way, but also as detoxers so that you can also flush out all the things you're killing. Um, so the reason we're doing this is because we won a grant that makes this program super affordable to us. And even though I'm like, okay, we can't afford, we had, we cannot afford proper testing. We cannot afford a proper Lyme doctor, but we can afford a pretty decent program that we can try. So that's what we're doing because this is what we have. This is what life gave us recently. So... I don't want to throw that away. Um, so we're on day two, two, three, one of those days. Um, so we haven't really done that much with it yet. And the tincture, we've done stuff with tinctures before to help our body. So it's not doing herbal healing typically works better for us, but sometimes we just need some antibiotics. But I can't access the antibiotics for Lyme disease because I can't access the doctors because money you know that money problem. So we are doing this pro program. And um, if nothing else, honestly, it gives us hope that there might be a way to feel better than we feel and to have more function than we have because we're still housebound. We're often bedbound or just like have to stay really close to bed because we suddenly need it all the time. And... Um, it's still impossible to do, like we cannot live every day by ourselves without something happening. Like we forget to eat or forget to drink water. Oh, where's the water? Oh, can I reach it? Yes, I got it. <clears throat> um. Yeah, so we're like nothing really has changed about our health in several years, despite trying to do some things about it. Um, we can eat more things than we used to be able to eat, and we have less abdominal pain and bloating than we used to have. And these are really good, important milestones in our health. So I'm glad for that. Um, <clears throat> but. We all inside were like, we have to do something, even if it doesn't make sense, even if it seems like a bad idea, we have to do it because otherwise we're not getting anywhere. So that's the story about 
of, so like we have, a, we have some doctors that we could see, like our PCP and our, uh, there's a naturopath we used to work with, our Lyme doctor that we used to work with, and we have a GI doctor, but none of them, I don't know, we don't have the money to pay for, I don't want to talk about money. We don't have enough money. We need money to get all of our tests and medicines and blah, blah, blah. We have a GoFundMe if you want to donate. Let's move on now. <clears throat> so, um, I think that one, the, I don't know why I save this for last, but I usually save, we usually save feelings for last. But we, we, like, that's all the update of what's happening, but here's my feelings about it. It's that, um, we have chronic suicidal ideation, and it's really hard to live with that. And we have lots of tools and tricks and ways to live with it, but it is awful to live with. And right now, it's really intense, and it takes a lot of focus and energy to live with it. Um, and I don't really have feelings about it, I just have this, like, I have to figure out how to keep living while feeling this way. Because even though I feel this way, none of us want to be dead. So in order to stay alive, we have to live with this feeling. So we are. We're here. Um, we really wanted to be able to go live somewhere else. And we are not able to go and live anywhere else. And that is, like, that is a big need or desire or something very giant that we had or have that can't be met. And so at this time, if we keep holding on to it, it causes more and more pain. But I don't know if it's possible to, like, let it go or if that is just me dissociating it into the void to come back to bite us later. Because what I would much prefer to be able to do is to take all the trapped that we feel right now and all of the backed into a corner. And I would like to be able to take that feeling and, and decide to make it different in a different way. Or it's like when none of the, when, when you can't, but <laughs> when you don't have any options, when there are no choices you can make about your life, really, about moving. This is very hard to explain. But I think it's like you have to, this is the rise up. This is where it's like, this could be a way that we end or a doom for our whole life or a thing that keeps us from living our life. But it, doesn't have to be if we can if we can do a lot of things change ourselves and our expectations if we can change our perspective and just see that even though it feels this bad not everything is that bad and there are pieces to our life right now that are the most amazing pieces. So it's like nothing is going to really get that much easier, but if we can accept that there is good to be had here along with all the crap and that sometimes maybe just maybe taking it all in together will allow that tension to create a new situation from within. Does any of this make sense to you? <clears throat> we can't change our physical circumstances that much, but we can change our emotional circumstances and we can change the way we approach our everyday. And again, I, it's like there isn't much feeling in us right now. Sometimes when things are so bad and you're so raw, you just go numb. So we're just numb. Um, but... Um, but we're here. 
and we're still going and we have a little bit of hope in trying some new medicine protocol and yeah that's that's what i got for you and in 200 subscribers <clears throat> um so that's that's um this time of life for everybody in the world is really rough and tough and for some it's much 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 tougher and um, I hope you're here and I hope you're holding on to yourself and um, surviving doesn't have to look pretty doesn't have to feel nice even but if we just keep surviving things always change Sometimes they get worse. <laughs> uh, please don't come to me if you're looking for sunshine and hopefulness because uh, I, we see, I see the glass half empty, kinda, or I see the long, hard effort that is life. And um, and I'm really tired and I need to go now. So thank you for listening and watching and um, sending hugs and love if you want them. And we hope to see you very soon. We're having a hard time posting, so I can't promise much. But I do know we will post again and it will not be that long. Um, take care of yourselves, believe in yourselves, believe in all of yourselves, keep living, keep living, and we're going to see you really soon.